misleading and incomplete disregard to the foundations that define our nation as a united and fiscal state. They were presented in a manner that, put simply, <coughs> confronts and attacks our political system. <coughs> a system which is embedded in our constitution. Like all citizens of our country, members of parliament have a duty to defend and uphold the constitution as the supreme law of the land. Instead of confining himself to criticizing the work and efficiency of the prime minister, the honorable member attacked the system appointing the prime minister. The prime minister is appointed by his majesty <coughs> at Sibai in accordance with the powers vested on him by the Constitution and endorsed by the nation. The Prime Minister is accountable to power, but the political system is not accountable to parliament, but to Sudan. The Prime Minister is accountable to parliament, but the political system is not accountable to Parliament, but to Sibai, which is the highest decision-making body of our kingdom. To therefore use the flow of Parliament to attack the political system of Swazile is disingenuous and hypocritical to say the least. The Honorable Member of Matanjali North should not attack the political system under the guise that he is criticizing the Prime Minister. He should refrain from launching an affront to our Constitution because the same Constitution provides ways and procedures of amendments to its provisions. If the Prime Minister is not performing well, the Constitution is clear on the road and path that Parliament can follow to address those identified and <coughs> inefficiencies. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member further <coughs> insinuated that cabinet ministers have been given no capacity to make decisions and to exercise their capabilities. Saying, for instance, permission to undertake an external trip is granted by one, or one individual. It is important, Mr. Speaker, to first and foremost advise the Honorable Member to desist from using offensive language, language in the House as it is against the standing orders of this House. <coughs> Insinuating that ministers are for portraits who are on a leash is not only disrespectful but insulting and against the spirit of this house. Mr. Speaker, may I enlighten the house that Kevin took a decision to set up a committee that is led by the Deputy Prime Minister to review all applications for external trips. In the past, this was all done by the Prime Minister's office. But the cabinet decision changed that with the setting up of this DPM's committee. The Prime Minister only approved the external trip, which 
which has been recommended by the PPM's committee. After the Prime Minister had finished making his statement, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Temba Msibi, told the legislators that the standing order used by the Prime Minister did not allow for the House to debate it. However, the Speaker said on Thursday the House will get an opportunity to debate several issues that emanated from the debate of last week, and the Prime Minister will be present to respond to those issues. Reporting for Swazi TV News, I'm Sibusi Songubane with LinkedIn Gule, Parliament.